What's going on guys and welcome to another episode of the Crack of Pack series. I hope you all are doing super, super well today. We are opening up a pack of Shards of Alara, not something that we get to open that often on this series, so I am really excited about it. I did not draft much during this set, but I did open it a little bit, so I'm hoping uh, just honestly for some really good nostalgia. If nothing else, I would love that. Uh, we will do our best to go through this as if it's a pack one pick one scenario, uh, but again, did not draft with it, so I don't know every single card. Our first one here, though, is Bane Wasp Affliction. So it's an enchant creature for one and a black. When the enchant creature is put into a graveyard, that creature's controller loses life equal to its toughness. Not a fan of this card in Limited. I feel like it's a kind of do-nothing card immediately. Uh, yes, it does deal a little bit of damage, but generally speaking, that is not worth it. You'd much rather be impacting the board, so really not interested in that at all. Uh, Deft Duelist is a 2-1 for a white and a blue. It does have First Strike and Shroud. Uh, so this is not hexproof, but it basically means it can't be the target of any spells or abilities, not even your own, which is the big difference between Shroud and Hexproof. Uh, I really like this card, actually. Uh, if you don't know, Shards of Alara was very much based on three color uh, dynamics. So you were basically being forced into a multicolor deck no matter what you do. Picking gold cards, not all that uncommon from the start. And this is actually a really solid two drop. A 2-1 with First Strike and Shroud just means it's not easily removed and it deals with a lot of other two drops pretty efficiently. Uh, so I do like this card. Probably not what we end up picking, but it is pretty good. Uh, Court Archers is a 1-3 for two and a green. It does have reach, so it can block creatures with flying. Uh, and it also has Exalted. So when a creature you control attacks alone, that creature gets plus one, plus one until the end of the turn. Uh, this is probably just like a medium three drop. Uh, I love the reach on it. I feel like that's good. The Exalted also seems quite good. Uh, but in general, I feel like uh, you're going to be attacking with more than one creature most of the time in Limited. Uh, though it will have its, its uses, obviously. Being able to swing in with one creature with a bunch of Exalted triggers is great. Uh, so this definitely works to that favor in that favor uh i feel like i like the duelist though a little bit better uh just because it's a more proactive kind of card if that makes sense uh blood pyre elemental is a 4-1 for four to red you can sacrifice it and it deals four damage to target creature play this ability only at a time you could play a sorcery for the sorcery fact of this, I don't like it quite as much at all. Uh, it is still powerful just to be able to, on your main phase, nug something for four damage. That's pretty solid. But uh, unfortunately, not being able to do that at instant speed kind of sucks. Uh, and it is just a 4-1, so it's probably going to die pretty quickly uh, to a lot of other creatures. And because it's going to just die in combat, you can't really do anything. So it's basically going to be just a removal spell on a stick. That sounds great, but when you can't really use it as a creature because it will die so quickly, it makes it a lot worse. So not that interested in this. Uh, Soul's Grace is an instant for one and a white. You gain life equal to target creature's power. Really don't like this. Uh, life gain in limited is not something I ever go for. It's a bit of a trap for new players is what I have found. Uh, and so for that reason, just really not interested. It just doesn't do enough. <coughs> Uh, Magma Spray is an instant for one red. It deals two damage to target creature. If that creature we put into a graveyard this turn, remove it from the game instead. This is really, really good removal uh, for one mana at instant speed and the exile clause. Uh, this is just all around amazing. Definitely want this if I can get it. So I would definitely pick this so far. That being said, okay, Blightning is also really good. So a sorcery for one, a black and a red. It deals three damage to target player and that player discards two cards. So this is actually really, really good. Normally, I'm not a fan of discard uh, in limited just because it usually is a bit slow, and this definitely is a little slow. Uh, it's basically on the same level as Mind Rot, but dealing three damage to that player kind of puts it above for me. Uh, and honestly, in limited, Mind Rot's not the worst, so being able to discard two cards from your opponent's hand at three seems pretty solid. So for me, I kind of like that. Uh, Naturalize is an instant uh, for one and a green. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Classic card. We've seen a lot of this. Every time it comes up, I say the same thing. It is great sideboard tech. You definitely want it for your sideboard, but you don't want to take it early on. Uh, so not a bad pick. Not something you want to take early, though. Uh, Obelisk of Grixis is an artifact for three of any color, and it does tap for a uh, blue, a black, or a red, uh, which does just give you... I mean, it's fixing and ramping all in one. It's fantastic. Uh, I like cards like this, generally speaking, in Limited, especially when you're in a three-color set. Ramp is always solid. Fixing is even better. 
Uh, and so I like it for that reason. I don't know that it's better than Blightning, though, to be honest. I feel like that's just such a proactive card that I really, really like it. Uh, but this is definitely a good card. <laughs> uh, Resounding Scream is a sorcery for two and a black. Target player discards a card at random. You can cycle this for five, a blue, a black, and a red, uh, which means you discard this and then you draw a card. And then when you cycle it, target player discards two cards at random. This is just really bad, in my opinion. Uh, for three mana, discarding a card at random, not that exciting. For a very ridiculous cycling cost, uh, you get them to discard two cards and then you draw a card. Not something I'm super into, so definitely don't like that. Our first uncommon is Tower Gargoyle. It's a 4-4 flyer for one and then Esper colors, so white, blue, and uh, black, excuse me. Uh, this is probably just a really good four drop. Uh, I, I feel like it's on par with anything that you could possibly want it for. Uh, it is a little bit difficult to cast with the three colors, but again, that's kind of what this set's about. So I'm actually okay with that. Uh, I do feel like I would like this above uh, Blightning, I think. It's just such a powerful flyer. Uh, Skeletonize is an instant for four and a red. It uh, deals three damage to target creature, and when a creature dealt damage this way is put into a graveyard this turn, you put a 1-1 one, one black skeleton creature token into play with tap black and regenerate this creature. This might actually be better than the gargoyle. It goes into more decks and it's uh, just really good removal. Uh, it is a little expensive, but it is at instant speed and you get something in return. I really, really like that. So this definitely, I think, is the pick so far. Uh, Thought Cutter Agent is a 1-1 one, one for blue and black. Uh, you can tap a blue and a black and it and target player loses one life and reveals his or her, or, or her hand, excuse me. Uh, information's always good in magic. I love it for that reason. Uh, I also like that it does kind of deal one damage. That's just kind of a little added bonus. I don't feel like this is a really useful card though in limited. I feel like it's a little bit slow. Uh, I think it's useful for the information for sure, but you have to uh, invest a little bit too much I feel like to get that information I'd rather be doing something a little more proactive so uh, while I don't necessarily dislike this card I don't think it's any better than skeleton eyes for sure so uh, and then our rare is immortal coil so it's two and two black for an artifact uh, you can tap it remove two cards in your graveyard from the game and you draw a card if damage would be dealt to you prevent that damage remove a card in your graveyard from the game for each one damage prevented this way when there are no cards in your graveyard, you lose the game. Very interesting card. Uh, I don't like it for limited at all. Uh, having no cards in your graveyard is really easy to do in limited. Not my favorite thing. Uh, this is a really like interesting card for maybe commander or something like that, but definitely don't like it here. Uh, and then we of course have a planes. I think it's a pretty easy skeletonize. Uh, I just I really love that card. It's really good removal. Uh, feel free to disagree in the comment section below, but I do think that's definitely the clear pick. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. And as always, please make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of our awesome content. But with that, I'm gonna get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next Crack a Pack episode.